Hi, Angie Taylor here, and in this movie we're going to have a look at how template layers can help guide you when drawing in Illustrator. So I'm creating a new document here called Template Layers, and I've chosen A4 under the Print Profile category. I choose A4 as my paper size there. And I'm going to click on OK, and that's going to open a brand new document here in Illustrator. Now, a blank white space can be quite intimidating, and even with something like the pencil tool, you're a bit unsure where to begin. So one technique that you can do is to import a file and use it as a template layer. So we're going to work in the layer panel. So click on this little button here, which will open up your layer panel. Now, of course, if you're not in the Essentials workspace, you can choose that by going up to the workspace menu and choosing Essentials so that you can see the layer panel button here. Or you can go up to the window menu and just choose Layers or hit F7 to open up the layer panel. Now in here we have one single empty layer. And what we're going to do is place an image that I've sketched into this layer. So we're going to go to File, Place. And inside the Working with Documents folder, you should find Illustrator Superhero Sketch JPG. Double click that to place it into your document. Now this is a sketch that I've done using an application called Sketchbook Pro. You'll see that it's a lot bigger than my artboard. So what we're going to do, just very briefly, is scale that down. So I'm going to use Command minus on the keyboard to zoom out a little. Command plus would zoom in, of course, and if you're on Windows, that would be Control minus and Control plus. And we're then going to scale it down using the bounding box that surrounds the image. So place the cursor over one of the anchor points, and then if you want to scale it down from the center, as you start to drag, hold down the Option key or Alt key on Windows. And you'll notice now that it scales from the center. If I release that Option key, you'll notice it scales from the bottom corner. So holding down the Option key or Alt key allows you to scale from the center. Another handy shortcut is, notice that at the moment I can scale ununiformly. So I can scale more on the x-axis and more on the y-axis. If I want to constrain it to make sure it doesn't distort and I don't end up with a squished drawing like this, then after I start dragging, as well as holding down the Option key, I can hold down the Shift key. And that allows me to very, very easily just bring it into my artboard. So once the artwork's in there and is resized accordingly, there are a couple of ways that you can make template layers. One is just to click on the wing menu here of the layers panel. And if you click on that, you can come down to here and choose template. And it will create a template layer for you. And you see it dims the image down, making it more suitable for drawing on top of. But if you want more control than that, what we're going to do is just undo that. And instead, we're just going to double click this thumbnail here on the layer to open up the Layer Options dialog. And in here, we can rename it and also make it a template. Now, if I click on Template, you would hope it would automatically rename it, but it doesn't. So what we're going to do is rename it Superhero Template. OK, and we'll keep the default light blue color labeling for it. And that labels things like the bounding box here. See if I change that to red and save OK, you'll notice we get a red bounding box. In fact, let's leave it on red so you can see that when we finish. But you'll notice we don't actually see the effect of the template until we click OK. But what it's basically going to do is dim it down to about 50%. Now, I find that I need it down to about 30% really for drawing on. I just want a faint impression of my image to draw on top of. The other thing is when you select template, it automatically locks the image as well, so that you can't accidentally drag it. So if we click OK, you'll notice it now is in italics, the name of the layer, indicating that this is a template layer. And if I try and drag it around, you'll notice I can't. Now you'll also notice that the icon, I'm just going to zoom in by hitting Command Plus a couple of times or Control Plus on Windows. Notice that the icons change to a little pencil with a no entry sign beside it. And that's because the layer is locked, so I can no longer move it. I can also no longer draw on it. So if I want to draw on it with something like the pencil tool, for example, which I can select by hitting the N key on the keyboard 
or coming over here to the toolbar, then what I need to do is I need to actually create another layer. So I'm going to create another layer on top of that. Now, if I click on the Create New Layer button and hold down the Alt key while I click on it, it gives me the Layer Options dialog box, so I can quickly rename that. So we'll call it Rough Sketch 01, and we'll click on OK. This time what I'm going to do is choose the blue for the bounding box colour, and we'll leave all the other options and click OK. And I now have this blue layer that I can start to draw on. And you'll see that as I draw, the lines are composited on top of my character. Now, normally I will use my Wacom pen and just be a little bit more careful than I was there. And I'll just start to draw in some of these lines. And you'll see how we can trace this image a little bit later. But that's how to set up your template layers in Illustrator.